Certainly an emotional weekend here in Huntington, West Virginia, as the Marshall community remembers the 75 who passed away here at Marshall. Kickoff coming up top of the hour for now. Back to Brent Stover in New York. Marshall tonight wears the school's past and remembers its tragic history. And they bring all that emotion tonight to the present as a team fighting to win a conference title against the leader from the West Division. It's the Herd and La Tech next. College football on CBS Sports Network is presented by Geico with Louisiana Tech coming to Huntington on an eight game winning streak. Taking on a thundering herd squad that has won four in a row. Yes, they are looking up at FAU in the East Division, but Marshall beat the Owls down in Boca, so they own the tiebreaker. Meanwhile, La Tech yet to lose in conference this season. All right, so his opportunity. Meanwhile, for Marshall, this is a team that has won four straight, and they do it on the ground. Brendan Knox, the leader in Conference USA in rushing. The heart and soul of this offense, he runs super tough, and he's the backbone of this team. Meanwhile, we see the spread so much, right? You see a lot of four receiver sets. Not here. We see four tight end sets, and these are the two best that they've got. The most unique offense in the country when it comes to using their tight ends. They do a great job of using each tight end to their ability. And on top of that, they're very effective and super talented. Marshall won the toss, deferred La Tech to receive, and here they come right into the end zone across the 30. The Bulldogs all the way out to midfield. Nine passes this season. He's completed eight of them before that one. On second down to Justin Henderson. He has been outstanding this year, and he's wrestled to the turf by Omari Cobbs. His is for field. They want to run the football. And they've had the tight ends because they've needed to. Here's Knox on the ground, breaking tackles. Brandon Knox picks up 11 yards and a first down. And we'll get a chance now to see if Marshall settles down here on its second drive. Coach, offensive coordinator Tim Cramey loved talking about uh, he wanted to give enough touches to Brandon Knox. And it's not about so much touches, but it's about how many times does he get hit. Which they have back tonight. Obi Obialo hasn't played all year, been dealing with a lower leg injury. In fact, when they were at FAU four weeks ago, he tweeted he was going to be redshirting and not playing. That's incomplete to Armani Levias. Now remember, the new rule in college football inserted last year, you can play four games and still get a red shirt, which he might have from California. Leads the team in receptions, leads the team in receiving yards. On third and seven, late pressure. Line picks it up. Now Green's flushed. Coming back to the ball, it's caught. Brock Thompson made the grab and a late flag. Shoved out of bounds on the sideline by Michael Sam, and then the flag came out as well. Just a little too aggressive coming up with the tackle. As you can see, he did a great job of surviving the play. Didn't like what he had, bought time, play, got the ball out of his hand, foul. but this isn't wrestling. Can't take guys defense, down like that. Late hit out of bounds, number five. 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. No suplexes allowed in this game anymore. Well, not out of the field of play. That was never allowed. <laughs> in the field of play, still okay sometimes. <laughs> Play action, Green, he got an open receiver in the flat, eyes downfield, he gets Obi Obiallo. His first grab of the year into the red zone. The Jerry Sneed made the tackle, but that's a pickup of 21. This is uncommon for a Bob Bianco's defense to be giving up chunk plays like they're doing right now. They're used to giving up those five yards and having to be, have long drives on the offense, but they found ways to be explosive by creating more time in the pocket as well as rolling Isaiah Green. Uh, yesterday marked the 49th anniversary of the tragic plane crash that took the lives of 36 Marshall football players, nine coaches and administrators, 25 boosters and five crew members, all 75 that were on the flight and the accident put the future of the football program here in Huntington, West Virginia in peril. But the team returned for the 71 season, winning their first home game back in Huntington. And that against Xavier. And yesterday, the victims of the tragic event were remembered at the Memorial Fountain right in the center of campus, right in the heart of Marshall's campus, which they turn off the water until the springtime. And they do it every single year on November 14th. And here tonight, they wear 75. Those that lost their lives are referred to here on Marshall's campus as the 75. Right down the stripe of the helmet, all 75 names of the people who passed in that. Defense yet to be able to get to Aaron Allen, the redshirt freshman quarterback making his first start. Right on cue, pressure, one-handed grab. Henderson breaks a tackle and gets back to the line of scrimmage. 
Stephen Gilmore the stop, but again, great job to get rid of the football. What I love so much about what they're doing is they're staying ahead of the sticks. They're not going to allow Marshall to keep sitting pressures and putting them in tough positions. They're going to run the ball forward with Justin Henderson, get a couple yards. Allen has completed his last four passes. Lesher comes, line holds. Allen escapes the pocket, able to get back to the line of scrimmage, no farther. Omar, Omari Cobb there to make the stop. That'll bring up third and long. Aaron Allen wasn't that decisive in this play. Pump fake, man. When you pump fake, you got guys in your face because Marshall's going to bring more than you're blocking. So, an opportunity to make something happen. Smoke Harris again, the man in motion. They only bring three. Allen, near side, incomplete. Isaiah Graham, the intended receiver. Jalen McLean sat there in coverage. Bring a fourth down. What an interesting way of playing two man for this Marshall defense. The defenders were literally playing basketball defense in front of the receivers, and it made it hard for the one on one stop routes that they run on the outside for Aaron Austin to complete. And Looking up at FAU in the win column, but they both have one loss, and they beat FAU this year. Meanwhile, Louisiana Tech, the only unbeaten conference team left, 5 0 heading into this one. They've got the lead on the road with 3 11 to go in the opening quarter. Green dumps it near side. Obi Obialo, second catch of the ball game, gets out to the 45 yard line. That's 11 yards to their senior receiver making his first part tonight, first action. And he's got 11 yards. He looks good. I mean, he hasn't played all season. He's coming out, he's making great catches, he's making great runs after the catch. I mean, making guys miss. This is what you, what you want to see from your senior receiver. But now he's got third and four. They're in field goal range for Bailey Hale, one of the better kickers in the conference. But Allen's taking a shot for the end zone. It's batted up in the air and incomplete. Malik Stanley working on Chris Jackson. Jackson got the better of it, and it's fourth down. The one-on-ones, this is what you want. The quarterback didn't ice the puck. He didn't throw it out of bounds. He gave Malik Stanley a chance to make a play, and that's all you can ask for from a young guy. It hit him in a helmet, so <laughs> if anything, the only thing you can do better than that is to hand him the football. But Malik Stanley has been making great plays, and they should keep going to him. I'll tell you what, Aaron Allen has looked outstanding in his first career start for the suspended Jamar Smith. It's a 42-yard kick for Bailey Hale. Missed his first two of the year. He hasn't missed since. That hits the upright, and it's no good. So Rohasser for Marshall, who missed one all year. He has missed. Hale had hit 12 straight, and he has missed. And I'm excited about that Texans-Ravens game. Mar Jackson, Deshaun Watson, out of the missed field goal. Marshall and Isaiah Green lobbing for Obi Obiello into LaTeX territory down. That one goes for 37 yards. Well, this is what they've been going to, rolling Isaiah Green away from his strong suit and being able to still come down with these passes. I mean, this is what you want to see. He's able to roll both sides. Back in Huntington, it's time for the home they built, sponsored by Rocket Mortgage by Quicken Loans. They used to play at Fairfield Stadium here in Huntington, West Virginia, and that's what it looked like around 1970 when the tragedy hit this town. And then 1971 when they played that first home game since then. Since 1991, they have played here inside Jones C. Edwards Stadium, one of just two FBS stadiums named exclusively after a woman. The other, williams Bryce Stadium in South Carolina. And they have seen a lot of winning here in the stadium fcs championships they've seen randy moss in the stadium byron leftwich chad pennington and right now it's that man brendan knox picking his way for about three yards so instead it's third and seven marshall 0 for four tonight on third down bulldogs bring the blitz green settles in the pocket deep shot for obiolo and that's caught he beat robertson down the field obiolo has been the go-to guy Obialo does a great job with a release, and that stutter step is what created enough separation and concentration to catch the ball over your shoulder. Then bogging down, this from 45. Roasser missed earlier tonight from 31. This one is good. Justin Roasser back on track. Marshall on the scoreboard, 7-3. They roll the pocket. 
Rollins, eyes downfield. Now he's in trouble, and now he falls and throws it down. Well, he's either down or it's intentional grounding. Either way, he got in all kinds of trouble, and Louisiana Tech's going to have to punt. They give him on a rollout because they know some pressure was going to come. They got a little mixed up on the on the route. And you can't compound a mistake like that. If he didn't like it, he set to punt it away here with 526 to go. Farlow this time booms it down the field. Keaton back to his 21. Up the middle to Lee Keaton. Dangerous in space. Brought down by the punter at the 48. But only after a return of 27 yards. What a great tackle by the punter. The punter wanted this tackle more than the offense or the returning team wanted to score. Look how he comes and flies, abandoned recklessness, and makes a tackle that was potentially saving. I do want to remind you that you are from Ohio. It is 40 degrees. It's not that bad. <laughs> On second down, flea flicker, green to the air. Keaton in space made the grab. Sneed made the tackle, but Talik Keaton with the punt return, and now the big catch. This is what it means to have an effective running game. When you have a guy like Brandon Knox, he requires a lot of attention, and it allowed guys to sneak behind him. And what a great over-the-shoulder throw by Isaiah Green, right in the pocket, right in the, the sweet spot between the, the safety and the guy playing underneath, and that's what you need to see. Now we got to see, how do you finish in the red zone? We know they can get down there, but these are the plays that are going to be crucial in getting scores on the board. 33 yards, their third play tonight of over 25. Five. Green, play action again. Fires for the end zone. Great battle. That's caught. Touchdown, Willie Johnson. The smaller receiver with the grab, and Marshall's got the lead. Isaiah Green just dropping dimes on this drive. Had no hesitation, perfect spiral, put the ball away from the defender, and Willie Johnson, even though he's a smaller receiver, makes a big-time grab. Who says smaller guys can't high point the football? Just look at that athleticism to find the ball, get behind the defender, and then make a great concentrated catch. Well, and we say smaller, he's listed at six feet tall, but the reason we call him smaller, Obialo 6'3", Brock Thompson 6'2", Keaton 6'2", Levi is 6'4", Gain 6'3". So yeah, if you're going to go for a guy to try and get a jump ball, you'd think it's one of those guys. Green, hands off to Knox, picks his way through. First big run of the day for Brendan Knox. He picks up 12, Sneed on the tackle, right, in the Marshall sideline. He's stuck in the Marshall sideline. And now they'll get Ian. Daryl Lewis out of there, but he picks up 12. Brendan Knox, his special ability is he gets better as the game goes on. Look at that, just tough stiff arm, and it takes more than one. You got four defenders over there trying to take him down because he's not going out quietly. He's not going to let one secondary player take him down, and as you can see, it's a struggle for the Louisiana Tech defense to bring him down by himself. And to your point about him going as the game gets on, uh, six foot, 220 pound redshirt sophomore from Columbus, Ohio. This time it's the snap direct to Xavier Gaines. The Wildcat tight end receiver takes it into Louisiana Tech territory. 13 more. They do that every game. That's not a new wrinkle this week. Gaines lines up as the quarterback every week. Here we go. The versatility of Xavier Gaines. And he's just, just a simple power. He's just going to say, I'm going to outrun you guys because you don't know if I'm going to throw it. You don't know if I'm going to do some read option. As a quarterback, you have to know you can't take these big hits if you want to have success the next play. Let's see how aggressive Louisiana Tech is. The ball's on the ground. They try to go conservative and just hand it off. And Henderson falls on it. And now you wonder, you can't just take a knee because Marshall has all their timeouts. Yeah, this is something where it's a give or take. You either give it to him or you take it. When in doubt, give it out. I think Austin Allen had a tough time trying to sell the draw as well as hand off the ball. But the ball is the most important, and you have to make sure it gets in the running back when you're facing a situation like this. Well, that was just the second carry for Henderson here in the second quarter. Here's number three, and Marshall knew it all along. In the backfield right away, and Devontae Beckett 
there to make the tackle. And it'll be interesting to see how they finish if they can get a score going into halftime. Farlow drops the punt. It's loose on the two. Well, you were worried about the mistake with the freshman quarterback. Instead, it's the special team's problem. And the thundering herd right on the doorstep. That's when we talked about protecting the football, and this is a crucial mistake right before half. You can't fumble the snap. This reminds me of the Alabama game. You fumble the snap on the punt, it's unacceptable. And it is cold. So <laughs> all that beef back there, I'm expecting to run. I, I, I will stay away from the pass. This time it is Knox, right up the middle. Touchdown, Thundering Herd! Now they take advantage of the special team's miscue, and Marshall's an extra point away from a double-digit lead. This is what we're talking about. Do what he does best. Just let him go in there and be the big body that he is. He's six foot, 220. Seconds to go. Rumbling, stumbling, bouncing off of guys. I mean, this guy cannot be taken down with just one guy. Number three did a great job of trying to slow him down. But you can't slow down that guy. He's a train. He's a tank. He's Brendan Knox. The understanding of what this means to be a Marshall football player, he's embodied and is, is shown and is carried out for the rest of the team and has been working for them. They've been putting together great things. Back to Obialo, another first down. Six grabs tonight for the senior receiver. This kid is special. His ability to just stay consistently impactful in the game is something that they've been missing on offense and has been underrated. I mean, look at the toe tap, Tony toe tap, Obi toe tap. More than three minutes gone by here in the third quarter. Knox picks his way, breaks a tackle, lowers the shoulder, and Knox has got nine on first down. Defensively, this is frustrating. You call a great call with Bob Diaco as a defensive coordinator, and you're just missing tackles. You got guys on the second level trying to make tackles. That's not what you want to see from the front side. Uh, you got guys confused trying to line up. Taylor makes the stop, but Knox has got another first down. Now with 20 takeaways on the season, can Aaron Allen capitalize? He's going to the air on the first play. Down the middle, that's dropped. Malik Stanley had it in his hands. It was broken up by Jackson. Now there is a flag back at the 20-yard line. Ineligible player downfield. Offense number 65. Five-yard penalty. Replay first down. 25 throws tonight. 17 of them have either gone to Stanley or Harris. He's throwing again. It's batted at the line and incomplete. Devontae Beckett has been all over the field tonight, and Beckett batted that down. Look at the athleticism. Looks like Jordan had his legs split just like the dunk. Absolutely. You want to see points on this drive. You can, you can deal with touchdowns later, but right now for the team's confidence, you need points. Settles. Looks now takes off and down he goes. Channing Hames from behind gets the sack. He got back close to the line of scrimmage, but here comes the kick team. This is where the development in Aaron Allen's game is going to have to come. When one isn't open, don't panic and get happy feet. They've taken what they wanted, and it's been creating great plays for them down the stretch. Pressure up the middle. Green escapes. Takes a shot for Obiallo. Makes the grab and gets the foot inbounds. Holy cow. The spirit of Randy Moss must have came back to Marshall tonight because look at the way Obiallo is just such a playmaker. High points of football is cognizant of where his feet land in bounds and makes an incredible grab. This is a guy that hasn't played all season, and the ability for him to be wrecked, be so Missed first the first game. nine games with a lower body injury and tweeted four weeks ago that he was going to take the retro. By the way, he still can. Isaiah Green takes off. And the quarterback's got the first down. Remember that new rule last year where you could play up to four games and still redshirt, so Obiallo could do that. 
He looks like he's just testing the waters. Now Isaiah Green has shown his athleticism, bending the corner to get the first down and moving the chains on an effective pass play and get a nice pass out of bounds. They need this here on third down as well. Evans picks his way through. First down and more. Sheldon Evans takes Marshall into the red zone. 22 yards for Evans on a third and nine running play. Evans squeezes through the gap and shows speed. Something that's a nice change up from a physical runner and Brendan Knox, the ability to hit gaps, to hit open spaces, and hit it with speed. He stays in the game. Green keeps it himself, looking for the end zone. Isaiah Green, touchdown! Quarterback keeper for 17, and Marshall back up by two touchdowns. Show me the money, Isaiah, show me the money. It's so sweet to see your quarterback fool the whole defense, run basically untouched, and glide, slide and glide right into the end zone. See him slide and glide, baby. And they're leading tailback. Fresh set of downs from the 20. This time to the air. Allen taking a shot. It's up for grabs. And it's incomplete. Malik Stanley tried to take it off the back of a defender. But couldn't come down with it. The ball a little too low. You got a, a mismatch in height. Don't throw to the level of defender. Throw to the level of your guy. The ability to come down with it is just showing how good he is. And third down. You know he's getting the ball. Anderson, he's tripped up at the 10. They are in the Verizon red zone. And now they've got a decision to make as well. Because Henderson did not get the first down. I'm living and dying with Justin Henderson. I'm going right back to him. I believe he can get the fourth and inches. That's why he's the workhorse. Snaps oh! over his head. It's loose back at the 30. And Marshall's got the football. Big time mistake. And they're carrying him into Louisiana Tech territory. Tavante Beckett has been the star on defense all game. And the scoop takes it back into Louisiana Tech territory. A little too excited on the snap right over the quarterback's hands. And that's just unfortunate when it comes to executing in a crucial part of the field. Protecting the football was the key of the game for Louisiana Tech. And that's not getting it done right there. As you can tell, it's just a terrible snap and it just made it worse. Tavante Beckett, the Virginia Tech transfer. Oh, a couple of miscues tonight for Louisiana Tech, including Bailey Hale missing a 42-yarder. He had made 12 straight. Then this drop punt set Marshall up at the doorstep at the one-yard line, and that just happened on a fourth and inches with the shotgun snap. The turnover for Marshall to set the thunder I heard up at the 40. Again, it hasn't been a ton, but they have been at terrible times. It just shows when it rains and pours, and it was pouring at the wrong moment. That's a crucial drive that they needed right there. Green flips it to Obiallo. Catch number eight. And he's going to wear this defense down in these next couple drives. Green keeps it himself. On third down, the quarterback's got the first down. Upended by Sneed, but not before he picks up 14 more. Lack of discipline by the DN. His eyes got lost in the backfield and let the quarterback sneak through. The quarterback just had a, a read option for a touchdown, and you would think they would learn from their mistakes, but here's another big hit on the quarterback, so I hope they don't try to make him pass the ball. For They've done a great job taking all the time off the play clock. Hands it off, knocks into the secondary, down to the two. Uh, he said it as the game goes on, he gets stronger, and they're on the doorstep again. Let's give credit to this offensive line who's creating such creases for Brendan Knox to be able to find the later the game goes on, and Marshall's been wearing on him. 
On third down, Knox picks his way through. Touchdown, Marshall! Exclamation point, Brendan Knox. Great job by Levi Brown in that offensive line. Just so stout up front. When you win the line. That was 49 years ago yesterday. The deadliest plane crash involving a sports team in the history of the United States. All 75 passengers aboard that plane passed away just a mile from Huntington's airport. They had the memorial yesterday here on campus. And it's always a question mark, right, as they have the 75 game here in Huntington where they honor the 75 victims of that plane crash. 36 players, nine coaches, 25 administrators, along with boosters as well. It's always a question of how do they handle those emotions. But they have won this game where they honor those victims each of the last nine years of what's looking like a 10th straight. They look like they've been channeling the right energy and bringing coming into these games and make plays happen. Where is the heart at in the team that you want to finish strong in a situation like this? Alley rolls the pocket. Pumps now throws. Intercepted Marshall. Racing back the other direction. Steven Gilmore down the sideline. 100 yard return for a touchdown. Now there is a flag back at the 15 yard line. Now the pick is going to stand. Will the 100 yard return for a touchdown stand? After the interception, personal foul, blindside block by the intercepting team. Penalties half the distance to the goal. First down for Marshall. Takeaway on a night where the herd are going to get to seven and three. <laughs> 2014 Conference USA Championship. Marshall beat Louisiana Tech by a field goal. The only time until tonight that these two conference teams have met in Conference USA. This is the first regular season matchup for these two foes. Knox over 100 yards again. Correlate to win, and it's proven tonight. Yeah, holding down the run game that averages 187 per game. Knocks over 100 yards for the fourth time in five games. That picks up a first down. That is certainly a possibility. We could very well have a rematch of these two teams in Conference USA's championship. Although, again, the uncertainty at quarterback, that's not a given. They get the first down, and Louisiana Tech can't stop it any longer. Meanwhile, for the thundering herd. But if you're Marshall, they are playing their best football when it matters most defensively and on the ground. And now all of a sudden you've reintroduced a, a receiver to this offense. Who Malik, you know, we talk about the tight ends all the time. They didn't go to their tight ends at all tonight. They didn't need them. Yeah, they got they actually found something that they was missing all season. And they put themselves in a catbird seat position where they can be in control of their own destiny. Final seconds tick off the clock. Doc Holliday's Marshall thundering herd on a night that began with his current players walking arm in arm onto the field with players past and parts of the community remembering the 75 who passed away 49 years ago in that tragic plane crash. And they finished this game in style with a 31 10 victory against Louisiana Tech. Very complete game by Marshall today. La Tech has to lick their wounds and go back to camp and figure things out to finish the season strong.